What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't uploaded any content in a while, but I'm back with something that's pretty popular at the moment, and that is t-shirt collections. More so vintage, but I like to call this my t-shirt collection. So we're going to, most of them are vintage, but whatever. So let's just get right into it. Uh, first up, this is going to be my Chicago Bulls. Um, it's not chop sleeve. It's straight sleeveless uh, vintage shirt. It was brand new when I purchased it. I remember buying it from uh, SneakerCon. I can't remember the vendor, but um, I got it from SneakerCon. It was brand new. I just don't do too well with white t-shirts, so I don't wear it that much. But uh, when I did wear it, um, whenever I did wear it, I would get compliments on it. Um, I guess it's pretty rare to see like a sleeveless bulls tee that's vintage that actually looks good. All right, next up we have uh, my Toy Story. Now, this shirt's very popular. It just has different characters on it with different quotes. So when I got this shirt, you didn't see very too, many, very too much of this shirt. Um, but I got it a while ago from Boneyard Chicago. After I got it, I started seeing like different characters and different quotes and people going after this shirt. I don't know the story. I want to say there was like a premiere or a big showing of the first movie. And that's where these shirts came from. I'm not too sure. All right. Next up, this shirt's new to me. It's an 89 Batman t-shirt. It's dated 89. Um, what's It has cool colors and it has a cool picture, you know. But what's cool about this t-shirt is that it doesn't focus on michael keaton batman it's for the batmobile so you see those quote those quotes or those words right there below the car it's all the specific modifications and like the cool stuff that the batmobile can do that's what i like most about this shirt but once again it's white and i don't do too good with white t-shirts so i haven't worn it yet it's just a cool piece that i have All right, here is my Wizard of Oz shirt. The story with this one is I was at round two, maybe the last day of All-Star Weekend, NBA All-Star Weekend. Um, I went in there and randomly asked them if they had this shirt, and they did. So I purchased it. It's a white t-shirt, I know, but it's cool. It's a movie tee, and it's a movie that I actually watch and like. Uh, it doesn't have a date on the image. Um, it's on a giant tag. It's double stitched, uh, but it's a cool shirt nonetheless, and I like it, and it's vintage for me. Okay, so we're going to move on to another pile of t-shirts. This one, we're going to start off with my Batman Returns. This shirt has, like, the perfect, like, black wash, faded wash. Um, it fits good. It fits just right, nice and flowy. And it's Batman Return with the movie, like the characters on it. Not most Batman Returns, like there's a lot of them with the cartoon version. But this is the actual like people like image of them. You know what I mean? But anyways, it's dated 1992. Batman Returns it has the three characters on there. Cool shirt. <clears throat> All right. This is another Batman Returns. It's new to me. Um. It's dated like 1964, but I think that's for like DC Comics or something. It's definitely not the shirt because the movie didn't come out at that time and it, it just doesn't match up. But it's a cool shirt nonetheless. I just received it. It's just the Batman signal, the updated image. Uh, if you look at the 89 Batman symbol, it's a little bit different. Actually, they all get different throughout the years. All right, I got one more Batman shirt for you guys. This one is Batman and Robin. I got it from Round 2 Chicago. It's a big hit of George Clooney Batman, not the most popular Batman movie. Uh, it's a big hit of his face on the chest, which I thought was cool. Then it's the Batman down at right at the hem. But then when you flip it around, it gives you a good color of Batman and Robin, the symbols. And then it says Batman and Robin in the words. I want to say this shirt is like something like the people at the movie theater wore or something. All right, here's my Aladdin t-shirt with the big cave of wonders on the chest, which has good colors, great colors. I bought this shirt from Boneyard, Chicago. Uh, 
like pretty much brand new, like pristine condition. There's no cracking on the image at all. Uh, the stars, the colors, the blue, the, the cave with Aladdin and Abu walking inside. I think it's like perfect. It's like one of my favorite shirts and it's one of my favorite Disney movies. Wow. When you flip the shirt around, you get this big print of the Cave of Wonders. All the wonderful things in the cave you're not supposed to touch. You're supposed to go straight for the lamp. All right, last up, we have my... Last up, we have a set of t-shirts. I'm going to start with the first one, and this is the three-peat back-to-back-to-back shirt. Um, funny story with this one is I had a, another three-peat shirt from Starter that didn't fit good at all. It was, like, short. Uh, it was wide. The arms were good, but it was, like, real short. So I took that to round two, sold it to him, and bought this shirt. Uh which I always wanted a ring, and it just so happened to be a three-peat, like back-to-back-to-back, to back to back and a ring shirt. So I got this one. I thought it was a pretty good switch. Um, Next up is a Rodman shirt. Rodman on the Pistons, which I thought was pretty funny when I found it. I got this from Round 2 Chicago as well. Um, The fade on it is good. It's flowy, as you can tell. Um, it has like one hole in it, but it's not a problem at all. But like when I first got this shirt and put it on, it fit so good, so well, so perfect. I just started wearing it all the time. Uh, it's probably like one of my favorite shirts. And the colors are good too. Blue and red, it's always good. Blue and red on a black shirt, it's always good. All right, next up is another Rodman shirt. This one I want, I don't know. I know it's. it might be kind of common, but I don't know the story on it. I don't think it has NBA licensing because... The B on the Bulls on his jersey is, like, knocked off. Uh, the other player behind him is faded out, and, like, you can barely see, like, his Nike shoes. So I want to say this was, like, a Rodman shirt, um, and it has, like, his achievements on the back, which I think is pretty cool. This has a good fade, and it fits good. Uh, it's an XL. All my shirts are XL. All right, this here is my Bulls. 1996 championship finals or champion finals this shirt is pretty popular too you can see this a lot on instagram or you know i mean a lot of people have this shirt uh it fits good the, i like the thing i like about this shirt is it has a good black fade wash it fits good it fits wide the neck is wide it fits real wide and long well not long but like just long enough so this is one of my favorite shirts too when i first got it Um, this shirt right here, I just got it. Um, it's Dick Tracy with the Disney stamp on it, like towards the lower half of the circle around Dick Tracy. And it's on a division one tag and it's real thin and flowy. Uh, it's kind of short, but can make it work. It's not like too short. It's an XL, but it fits like a large. I'll say that. But yeah, this is a Dick Tracy with the cool little Disney stamp down there. Uh, movie T. All right, now this shirt right here, it's not vintage. It's It eventually will be, but this is a Prince, uh, a loving memory of Prince. This is from when he passed. Cool thing about this shirt is it was made by Joe Fresh Goods. Um, the story is his mom wanted him to make a T-shirt, so he made this shirt. Uh, it came in a black version and this purple. I think the purple hit harder. And the tag has... <clears throat> Excuse me. The tag has his name in there, Joe Fresh Goods with the size XL. And then it has some words on the reverse side. Pretty cool. All right, I have another purple shirt here from Chicago. This one's pretty cool. It was gifted to me by a friend. It has a 1997 uh, like image trademark stamp on it. It's single stitched. It has like one pinhole in it, but it fits good, flowy. It's a little short. You know, like all older t-shirts it's just a little bit but if it's good um it's a good shirt i like it a lot
So, yeah, that was my T-shirt collection. I appreciate everybody for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.